Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We're going to be going over Kenny Galladay in a Kenny Galladay film analysis and uncovering what he brings to the table. Before we get started, please drop a quick like and a sub on today's video. I'd really appreciate that. That would help my channel grow. And with that said, let's dive right into the video and I hope you enjoy. So before we dive into the film analysis for a second, let's start with the stats. And last year was a tough year for Kenny Galladay. He only played in five games, dealt with injuries for most of the season, hamstring injuries. Just overall, he wasn't healthy. Uh, but in the games he did play in, he had 20 catches for 338 yards and two receiving touchdowns. He earned a plus 80 PFF player rate. So he's a really solid player, really dynamic player. Um, and, you know, in 2019, that was his Pro Bowl season. He had over 1,100 uh, receiving yards on 11 touchdowns and 65 catches. So you can see the kind of impact player he is. Now, though, let's go to the film analysis. So I think the number one thing it comes down to with Kenny Galladay is his ability to be a 50-50 jump ball catcher. That's his best attribute. And you're going to see him uh, matched up here one-on-one -on, -one on the bottom of your screen uh, to the outside. And basically what's going to happen here is... Matthew Stafford's going to throw a back shoulder throw that doesn't really quite get to the back shoulder. Um, that's where it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be on this shoulder of Kenny Galladay, but nonetheless, he can just go up and grab that and just out-hustle the corner for it. And I have a better angle of the play right here. So right here, uh, as you can see, right, this ball is being thrown. It's, it's, it's basically just a back shoulder throw to the, to the sideline. But, you know, Galladay just goes up, and I think he actually catches this with one hand and just stuffs it. He just high points it, goes up, and grabs it. Um, brings it in, actually, yeah, it's with two ends, but he just completely out-muscles the corner, and I think that's A.J. Terrell. He simply just goes up, grabs it, and that's his best attribute. He's really good at using his body um, to ward off the defender. You see how he's using his shoulder to kind of cut off the defender there, um, and then he just high points that, goes up, and grabs it, and makes a play on that football. It's exactly the kind of game that Kenny Galladay plays. He's one of the best jump ball catchers in the NFL, and this is a really good play that shows that. And one of the reasons why he's so good at high-pointing balls and, and just being a great 50-50 ball catcher um, is his ability to uh, go up and make plays uh, just completely out of nowhere and just be acrobatic. So you're going to see him actually right here, one-on-one -on -one down low, and he's going to start his route here, and then he's going to curl back up. Um, and as you know, the pocket collapses and as Matt Stafford needs to get rid of the ball here, look at the catch that Kenny Galladay makes. Simply just goes up, gets it, lays out the body, um, and comes down with an absolutely awesome grab. And I think I have a better angle of it right here. Um, but as you can see, like right here, he's tracking the ball. He's so good at tracking the ball with his eyes. And then he just goes up and gets it. He's not afraid of the big hit. Goes up and catches the football, secures it, and then uses his body. Once again, he's rotating his body, using his backside to ward the ball, protect the ball, um, so that doesn't pop loose. And then just goes to ground. Really just athletic and acrobatic play here by Kenny Galladay. And these are the kinds of plays he brings to the table. He brings that spectacular aspect Um of catching footballs to his game, and that just makes him a super special player with the ability to go out and make these kinds of plays. But another thing that makes him so scary is his ability to be really uh, dominant um, with his length and his route running, and he uses his length and his speed and his quickness um, with his bigger frame. That mix is really scary, and that makes him super dangerous. Here you're going to see him at the top of your screen, one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, and basically he's just going to run uh, more or less just a corner route uh, to the middle of the field. And the best thing about this route here is he uses his initial quickness off the line of scrimmage to really beat the corner here. So you're going to see him right at the top, just gives the corner a little move, just blows by and look at the separation he's already made. And that separation is because of the length and the speed that he has and the speed with his length. Those two combined allows him for that quick get off. And then he's able to use his, his body to just protect the football and make it so that the corner can't get to it. And I have a better angle right here. This is a really good angle. He's just one-on-one -on -one here and he's going to go right to the inside first working his way to the inside, and then just completely beats the corner with his speed and his length. Then, you know, turns, and then with that length and that size, even though that ball is not thrown in a good spot, that ball probably needs to be over here for Galladay to catch it in stride. But nonetheless, Galladay, once again, can just go up and use his body to protect, uh, to just protect that ball, just, you know, goes up, catches it with two hands, secures it, and then just goes to ground. But this is, once again, it's just him using his length, his speed, especially off the edge, his quick get off, um, to allow for space to open up and uses his long uh, strides to really open up space. And then that allows for that completion to occur. So really good job here by Kenny Galladay. And I know I keep emphasizing this, but it's, it's really true. I mean, his ability to just use his body um, and his good hands make him really special. So here he's going to actually catch a touchdown pass. Um... And he's basically going to come out of the slot here. This is him right here. 
Um, and he's going to be matched up one-on-one -on, -one on a smaller corner, and he's basically just going to go straight to the end zone and catch this ball. And this isn't a really good angle, so I'm going to show you a different angle of this, and that's still not the angle I want. This is the angle I want. So basically, I don't care about the route run here. I mean, he's not he does he hasn't created that much separation because he's on a faster, smaller corner. Uh, but what he does really well here is you see this ball is not thrown in a great spot. I mean, he's got a little bit of separation. This ball really should be thrown over here to the outside. Uh, so Galladay can just put his hands out and grab it. But nonetheless here, this is what I absolutely love from Kenny Galladay. You see, it's all about him using his body and his shoulders and his hands to go up and make a play on the football first and then protect the ball. So what you want to do here is you want to use your body. You want to use the back shoulder to kind of ward off the defender. So you're almost creating like a wall with your back. So like the defender can't get to the ball. Um, so what Galladay does here is first he, he catches it, right? He first catches it, make sure it's secured. And then you see how he turns away. You see how he turns away, uses his body just to protect that ball, make sure he gets two feet in bounds. This is absolutely textbook, goes to ground. I don't even care if he goes to ground. But he gets those two feet in bounds. He protects the football, makes sure it's secured, um, and does a really good job just making sure that that's going to be a touchdown and corralling that football. Um, and just even going to ground with it, making sure that the corner really has absolutely no play to uh, to, to, to get rid of that football and try and like lodge that football out just a really good job here by Kenny Galladay just securing the football and that's something that he does he secures footballs he doesn't really have drops really good job here by Kenny Galladay just making sure that that's a touchdown for the Lions and I know I've already covered it but I'm going to keep covering it I mean his ability to make acrobatic catches and really big grabs uh, make him a special and dynamic player here you're going to see him on the left side of this trips uh, formation here uh, basically he's going to kind of run something like that um, and Matthew Stafford is kind of is just going to want to fire that ball in. So as you can see, right, Galladay is open right there, okay? And, and Stafford should be just throwing an absolute dart for the first down right there. Uh, that's, that's the first down uh, over there. But instead, this ball is not exactly thrown well. It's a little high, but nonetheless, like, just look at this ability for Kenny Galladay to go up. Make that catch. Look at that catch. He's going full up in the air. And then he's still able to have the body control to come down uh, on it and reach out for for the pylon for a touchdown in, you know, in traffic. I mean, that, that should be a tackle right there. He's still able to have that length to just get to the end zone for a score. And that's just an awesome job by Kenny Galladay. And this is a better angle right here uh, where we're going to just see Kenny Galladay and his, you know, his route running a little bit, right? He He's smart. He realizes that he just has to kind of get on the opposite side of this defender here. And, you know, he's going to be able to cut, undercut this defender uh, to the football. So he, once he gets there, he's in a really good spot here. But that just that football, he kind of has to wait for it. But nonetheless, he's still got the athletic ability and the acrobatics uh, to go up and make a play on that football and then reach out for the pylon. And that's just a fantastic overall athletic play from Kenny Galladay. He's like a basketball player playing football, and that's just unfair uh, when it comes to defending him. Okay, so uh, this is another play where we're just going to see his acrobatic ability, and right now we're going to see him one-on-one -on, -one on the outside, matched up down below the bottom of your screen, and basically the idea is for Stafford to throw this ball over the top. Uh, that's pretty much the, 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 the play here. But you're going to see that this ball is not where it needs to be. And as Stafford drops back, he's going to throw the, the, the ball deep. It's, it's a flag on the Jaguars. It doesn't even matter, right? It's just kind of like a, it's, it's kind of just a, a free play in, in a way. And this ball needs to be continued to throw to the outside for Galladay to run under, right? That's where it needs to be for Galladay to run under. But this ball is way behind. It's way behind. But look at the way Galladay simply just goes out and makes an athletic play, goes up and grabs that, undercuts the corner, and just makes a massive play because his ability to high point ball um, is really special. Um, look at this ability to just undercut the corner, go up and grab it, and then come down to the ground, secure the football. Like this is this is so fantastic. So with Kenny Galladay going to the New York Giants, he's gonna fit in with the Giants receivers and Sterling Shepard and Darius Slayton, and you know the quarterback there, Danny Dimes. Just like, you know, we saw in today's video, I mean, he's gonna bring his big frame, big athleticism, solid route running and size and speed. And his ability to make big plays downfield with the 50-50 ball. And he's going to bring that to the Giants receiving court. With guys like Slayton and Shepard, they're much more route runners, speed guys. Galladay is the guy who can, you know, he can change this Giants offense. He can be the guy who can be that big touchdown machine, big touchdown threat, big red zone guy, big play guy, big catch guy. 50-50 jump ball. He can be the guy that goes up there and makes plays. And Danny Dimes hasn't had enough of that uh, win with the New York Giants. I mean, he's had Evan Engram as a speed guy. He's had, you know, Darius Slayton and, and Sterling Shepard as people that can, you know, spread the field a little bit more. But nonetheless, I think them bringing in Kenny Galladay is really smart because what it does is it really allows you to add another dimension to the offense. It allows you to get a true number one receiver on the outside that can match up one-on-one -on -one against any corner in the NFL and win. And that's what the Giants receivers haven't been 
able to do for the past few seasons since Odell Beckham Jr. left. They haven't had a true number one receiver since OBJ went to Cleveland. So bringing in Galladay is not only a move to bring a number one receiver in the door, but it's also a move to get more athletic on the outside, get some playmaking on the outside, and just add a really elite wide receiver to this New York Giants offense. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. Did you agree with my analysis? Why or why not? What were your takeaways? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. Also, if you're new around here, please drop a like and a sub. I'd really appreciate it. And with that said, I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, see ya.